welcome back to my channel and welcome to another storing photo cards video. It has not been that long since my last storing photo cards video, but I have just accumulated a bunch of cards <laughs> the last few weeks. So yeah, as you can see, this little container here cannot close anymore because it is so full with photo cards. And yeah, I just figured it was time to film another one, even if it hasn't been that long since my last one. And yeah, I'm super excited. There's a lot of exciting cards in here. We're finishing some collections today, which is really nice. And we're starting some collections today. So I'm excited to get right into it. This container that will not close is for my larger binders, like my A4 binders. And then this one is for my A5 binders. So we're gonna start with my A5 binders and work our way to the bigger binders because there aren't as many cards in this little box. So let's get started. All right, we're gonna start with my 17 binder today. I just have one card to put away today and it is in the non-album section back here. So I have Mingyu's In the Soup Season 2 photo card. I joined a group order for this. I unfortunately have not been able to claim S-Coops. <laughs> Chol's card is really cute. This Mingyu is really cute, but Chol's card is very sought after, I feel like. It's very, very cute, and I just haven't been able to like be fast enough to claim it in a group order. So yeah, hopefully I will be able to find it after the fact for a reasonable price. These cards, like these that you get in this set, tend to start off pretty expensive for resale, but over time they do go down in price. So yeah, I'll just wait it out and hopefully I can buy S-Coops later, but I'm happy to have Mingyu. So yeah, that was it for this binder really, really quick. All right, so this binder has Red Velvet and Stacy, which is temporary. My binders are under a bit of construction right now. So yeah, they're, they're a little disorganized, but no worries. I do have some Yeti cards to put away. Um, back here. This card, I have the last birthday card I was needing and this is her S-mini and she is in the wrong sleeve because I did resleeve my entire Yeti collection. So please hold. So I am double sleeving my Yeti collection now. Um, and I'm swapped out her pages. I was using Amifa. Sorry if you heard that car alarm. Um, I was using the Amifa four pocket pages, but I swapped them out for um, a different brand. I don't know, the Amifa ones, I'm just like not as impressed with them as I once was. So yes, but because I swapped out her sleeves, I need to sleeve her in like Japanese size card sleeves. So there is that. So birthday's done. Oh. I love her cards for this era. I'm so excited for a Red Velvet comeback. It does not need to be anytime soon. Like, please no. But their next comeback, I'm just so excited um, to collect Yeti again. I love those cards. And I do have some SMCU. I have these two cards, which I do need to resleeve. Okay, so I do have her membership version photo card. I did pull her membership version in my album. So that was a bit of a slay. And I have her palace photo card. Super cute. So this is almost done. I do have her guest version secured. I ended up buying it off of Mercury Japan, so I just need to wait for it to arrive at the Neokyo warehouse. And then I will ship it out with a bunch of other stuff that is accumulating at the Neokyo warehouse. But yeah, that is it for Yeri today. Now for Suman, I don't have a lot for Suman. I just have poppy cards. So for this page, I have this card. I don't know what version this card is from. I think it's one of the regular versions. <laughs> I honestly don't know, but I know it's not her member cover version because I have that in a group order. 
So yes, and then I also have this sticker that came with this photo card and I don't really know what to do with it. So I'm probably just gonna put it back here for now. I don't know. But yeah, that was it for Suman today. Almost done with Poppy, but of course they have the teddy bear Japanese release coming out soon, I think. And I am still working on teddy bear. I honestly won't have much teddy bear progress until I get my fix slot group order in. And that is going to be like a very long ways away. So yeah, I'm happy with the progress I'm making for now, but that was it for this binder. We can move on to the next one. Next we have my Jaehyun binder, which is the majority of this deck. Honestly, I have a lot of exciting cards for this binder. Starting with the first page, we are completing this page today, which is Bananas. So I have one of his fire truck photo cards. I also started double sleeving. Jay Hen's collection as well. It's the other fire truck photo card. I can't believe I own these. <laughs> and then Cherry Bomb. So cute. So, yeah, the first page is done. Like, what? This is so crazy. Like, this collection has come along so quickly. It is really insane. And then we're also finishing this page. I have both of his regular irregular photo cards. So I have this one. And I have this one. And these were both trades. So that's really awesome. Yay! So now his like older cards, because I kind of still consider like anything from 2020 onward is still like kind of new-ish in my opinion. So I feel like I can call his older cards like good, like we finished it, they're done. So yeah, that's really crazy, but for nothing for this page, but I do have his past version Kino photo card. Can't believe it. So crazy. Right up here, his future Kino, that's like kind of kind of a dream card right now especially with all of the comebacks that are happening I I like can't even think about buying that card right now so and then for this page I have the remaining two cards that I needed so I have his pass card and I have his SM town version this card is so expensive and for why I'm very lucky that I found it on poker market for a reasonable price because this card goes for like $50 sometimes. I'm just like, hello. <laughs> so yeah, that is SMCU Express done. And then for SMCU Palace, I have his portrait version photo card. So that'll go right there. I have the rest of these secured, these two in a group order, and this one I bought on Mercari Japan. So exciting. So I'm basically, I'm almost done back collecting him. I need this Kino. I have this Kino on the way, which wow. Um, and I need this Kino. And that is it for his older album photo cards, which is so nice. Okay, so now we're moving into two baddies. I have both of his smart album cards, the group order finally came in so these are done they look the same <laughs> so funny this card i actually recently bought this card on mercari japan even though i'm in a group order because i found it for like five dollars and the group order the person that the gom bought from still has not shipped out the set and that was secured a really really long time ago so i don't even know what's gonna happen with that so i just figured if i saw it for five dollars i should probably just buy it and get it out of the way for this page i have his shoppy fan sign photo card one of my favorites these two are my favorite so it's funny that they're in the same outfit so this page is done and i do have his lucky draw for this page 
this page just kind of works out that they're in the same outfit. I was just going off of a template, so it's just kind of random. Still need to get his lucky draw. Let's see. That's the only card I'm missing for two baddies. And now moving into Ao, I did go ahead and set up for everything else that I plan on collecting for Jayhan this era. So four pages total for fan signs, lucky draws, and pre-order benefits. Not too bad, but now that Zoe Jae Jung is officially debuting, oh my god, I am very terrified. This binder is probably going to grow so quickly, much quicker than I anticipated it growing, so I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I can't even think about it, but can we believe that Do Jae Jung are debuting? I mean, we all knew it was coming, like the guys were posting on Bubble, we knew they were recording. When SM announced their plans for NCT and said there was going to be a unit in April, we all knew it was Doje Jung. But when the article came out saying like, SM confirms that Doje Jung will be making their debut, like I was screaming, I was taking it in like that with brand new information and I'm just so excited. I can't wait to support them. Yes, I will be buying a ton of albums. Yes, I will be collecting everything for Jaehyun. Yes, I will be collecting all three members for the debut. I am so excited, but this Mixstar Pob. I am so like excited to hear what the album sounds like. They're kind of the, the sexy unit. Can We Go Back is very like R&B sexy. So I'm really, really excited. Um, this is K-Town For You Pob. To hear the vibes of the album, I'm just, I can't believe it. I can't believe they're debuting. I'm so excited. And this is his Target exclusive photo card. I love this one. So cute. So, in terms of cards I'm missing, I should have all of these in a go. I have all of these secured. I'm in a go for all of these, but I don't know if it's member guarantee or if I'm gonna have to like pray that I don't suck at sorting for once so I feel like this is the only page where I'm like mm, I don't actually know if I have these on the way so yeah but everything else I feel like should get to me at some point but yeah I love how different the cards are it's really nice but that was it for Jaehyun for right now <laughs> but let's move on to the big binders now because that was all I had for my A5 binders. Okay, gonna start with Itzy. I don't have anything for twice today. So yeah, we're just gonna start with Itzy. I can go all the way to the back. Oh, I do have an update on my Itzy collection. So I decided to drop more of my OT5 sets because I don't know, I was just like, I was ready. I was ready to let the cards go. And I knew like me downsizing was eventually going to be me like, letting go majority of my OT5 sets. So I decided to just keep the sets where Rujin had more than 10 cards. So for Crazy in Love, she had 10 cards. So I have the OT5 set I decided to keep. And then on the back, I kept another OT5 set to use kind of as fillers. So yeah, that's what I'm doing there. And then for Cheshire, I did the exact same thing. I have an OT5 set and then cards from the other four members. It just worked out that I ended up keeping two sets for Crazy in Love and Checkmate that I could do that. So I think that's what I'll do moving forward. If an album has an odd amount of cards that warrants me collecting an OT5 set, I will do that. But if it doesn't, I just won't because yeah, I was getting overwhelmed with the <laughs> amount of cards I had. So yes, but for Cheshire, we are completing Rujin today. We have the Yeji and Rujin unit. I'm so glad they went back to doing units this era. So this page is done, all of the standard edition photo cards. The are so nice. And then I have the last, what is this? Is this the special? Yeah, I think this is a special edition card. So this was the last one I needed to finish this set. Okay, so Cheshire is complete. 18 photo cards later. 
Cherry Pie absolutely out of their minds, but I don't think Itzy will have a comeback anytime soon. Literally every other JYP group is having a comeback in the next few months. So I feel like we might not get a comeback until maybe summer and I'm okay with that. They're on world tour right now. I hope they get a rest after their tour is over and then we'll have a comeback. That's what I'm hoping for at least, but we shall see. Um, I don't have anything for choice, but I did just want to say Ready to Be is so amazing. I fucking love this album. I am streaming. I am watching the music video. It is perfect. GKO is perfect. All nine of them are perfect. And I absolutely love the music. 10 out of 10 like no skip album for me but in terms of the actual physical album i actually decided not to buy it physically the actual like photo book concepts just weren't my favorite and i feel like that's an unpopular opinion they just weren't my favorite i don't really want to buy the album twice cards are really accessible so i'm just gonna buy geo's cards in a few months when the cards go down in price and hopefully i can just find a full set of her cards on Mercury Japan and just do it that way because both Doje Jung and Seventeen are coming back next month in April. I I just really need to like get it together a little bit. So since I wasn't really obsessed with the album packaging, I figured I could skip out on buying the album this time for twice and just buy the cards secondhand. So that's what I'm planning on doing, but I did just want to say like I love the album, it's so good. Twice never miss. But yeah, that was it for this binder. Speak of the devils and they shall appear. No, just kidding, 17 are devils, I love them. But yeah, we actually have 17 cards to put away in the album photo card binder, which is different because I've been caught up with 17 for quite a while, but I decided to change up my 17 collection a little bit with how I organize it. I do this every once in a while with my 17 collection because it is so big and I collect so much and it is for the most part almost always up to date unless there's a comeback. I do tend to flip through this quite frequently and rearrange things just to like keep it fresh in my mind so I don't get bored. So yes, what I did was after an ode finishes, I put the first Hana set from Hengere at the bottom of this page. So now Hengere just close. And then I put the two sets of semicolon photo cards with the last net set of Hengere. So every page is full, which I really like. This saved me exactly one nine pocket page, but I will take it. I need all the space I can get in this binder. So yeah, your choice I didn't change because this fits perfectly. And then for Ataka, for the carrot version photo cards, these are two sets of carrot version cards. And then this is a row of their Target exclusive photo cards. I had all of these already, so I just figured they're the same concept, like might as well incorporate them to make a full page. And then on this page with the second set of carrot version photo cards, I'm gonna put the Faceless Sun Target exclusive photo cards. So I had Escoops and Mingyu already, I just needed DK and I found him. I made an ISO post on my Instagram and literally a few hours later, someone DM'd me offering to trade. So that is amazing. I have only ever made two ISO posts in my Instagram career. One was for this DK card right here. And then the other was for this DK card and I found both of them through making those posts, so. Yay, now this page is complete. I don't know, I kind of like it. I just like the full pages for them. I think it looks really nice. But now we can go all the way to the back. Oh my God, and also very excitingly, I secured DK's Weaver set for Face the Sun. So this is gonna be a full page soon. Screaming and crying, I never thought I would have that, but yeah, it's a very exciting development. But now we do Busoksu. So I don't have very much right now. I just have these two cards, which are from the photo book version. I pulled this one and I traded for this one. So, oh, yes. Oh, I love that I like actually set up for this comeback. It makes it so much easier. Um, so this one, which is my favorite, is gonna go up top. And then the other concept is gonna go on the bottom. 
And yeah, that's all I have so far. I should be getting my group order with his special version and his Kino card soon because I believe I just did an address check, so that should be on the way to me. And then I did trade for his Weaver set, so that is on the way. And his Weaver's Global Pop, I'm talking to someone right now about trading my Hoshi. So hopefully that will go through and I will have a full nine pocket for Busok soon. And then on the back, I did put a Banana Boo because I can't get rid of that card. Look at him. That is so precious and I love everything about it. Yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think in the future, I don't know if I've already said this or not, but in the future, I do plan on just collecting a member of whatever unit comes out because I'm assuming they're gonna do this more often with different combinations of members. So when that happens, like if slash when that happens, I am going to just pick a member that I wanna collect and collect them. Obviously, if S Coops, Mingyu, or DK are in the unit, I will collect them most likely, but if none of them are in the unit, I will just pick a member that I wanna collect and collect. And I'm actually really excited about that. I hope it happens. <laughs> like, I hope my assumption is correct that we will be getting more unit releases from 17 like physical releases because yeah that just sounds like a really fun time but anyways that was it for 17 more to come obviously because 17 come back in april oh my god i thought they were gonna come back in may like i was pretty convinced that they were gonna have a may comeback but nope i'm i really hope that it's not the same week as Doji Jung. Like, give me like at least a week in between. Give me a week to recuperate. Give me, give me one week, seven days. I think my biggest fear is that Seventeen will have their comeback on a Friday, and then Doji Jung will debut the following Monday. Like, that is literally my worst fear, and I feel like it is like definitely an option that could happen. So, but we'll see. Like, no reason to fret right now. I am like very excited. Don't get me wrong, but it is just like. It is stressful when your ults come back at the same time as one another. It's just, there's a lot going on and I feel like I miss a lot of stuff when that happens. And yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy, but I'm so excited for 17 comeback. It's been a long time since they've had a comeback. So yeah, I'm very excited. Okay, next binder, which is a new binder. Like I said, I'm trying some new things with my binders. I'm seeing how I like it, so if in the next Touring PCs video, my setup is completely different, that is why I am just trying out a few new things. But yes, this binder was not like my original idea. I was watching one of Froggy Ben's Storing PCs videos. I think it was a Storing Flip Cards video. And they set up a pop binder, which I thought was really interesting. It was basically like a binder with different idols in it and it was just their pre-order benefit and fansign photo cards. And I was like, you know what? That's an amazing idea because the main problem I've been having with some of my collections, mainly my Suman collection and my Yeti collection, is that because I collect them so thoroughly for pobs and fansign photo cards, I was running out of room in their current binders and I didn't really know how to make it work because I don't want to move Yeti out of an A5. I really like how her collection looks in an A5 and Suman's like album photo cards, I'm moving to a different binder anyway so her pops were gonna have to go somewhere. So I was like, you know what? I have this extra binder laying around. Let me just try this. So yes, Froggy Ben. Thank you for this idea because I think it's pretty genius. So in the front we have all of my Suman pops and fansign photo cards and I do have a card for this page. I have her so bad DMC photo card. So 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 happy to have this. I did not think I would ever get another so bad benefit card. So yay. And then on this page I have this Suman and Isa card from younglove.com. It's gonna go right here. So I left all of these spaces blank because I wanted We Need Love to start on its own page because I have exactly 18 pobs for We Need Love. So it fits perfectly in two nine pockets. 
So the plan for these six spots is to just collect six more fan sign cards, essentially. It could be from any of the previous eras, it could be from Young Love, Stereotype, any era really. I just want to fill up these six slots. Ideally, I would have at least one row of cards for each era. I just think that would look really nice. But I don't know the feasibility of me getting another So Bad and another ASAP Hob. I don't know, they're kind of expensive, so we'll have to see, but yeah that is the plan for now yeah i just love how this looks look and i love cc's pops because they look so different from one another they aren't just the same outfit over and over and over again these two are lucky draws so that's why they look similar but it's just so nice the variety it's just so nice to look at in my opinion oh my god teddy bear we are done with teddy bear pops and four pages four full pages of pops and fan sign cards for a single album you know it's just just it is what it is if this gives us a full album later this year from cc i am willing to accept it but yeah it was a lot and i might try and downsize once i get all the pops on hand i might take a look and see if there's any that i just like don't exactly love and that I want to sell off but and this isn't even everything like I did not claim every single pre-order benefit for her this is a majority of them but there's at least like I don't know six or eight cards that I did not get so really crazy and yeah so we'll see once they're on hand I've been looking at templates and I'm just like damn like all of her cards are really cute so I don't know how I'm gonna let any of them go but yeah we'll see once they're on hand what I want to do and now we get to put away all my yeti pop I am so excited look at all of these cards <sighs> yeah so excited so so excited to put these away I'm just gonna take all of these out because I have the cards in order. Actually, no, I should leave them in so I can tell you what they are. <laughs> so this is K-Town for you, because I will forget for sure. And this is Make Star. And then, is this a Sun Town store? I guess it is. Okay. Oh, this is like the SM Town and Store like event card. Um, and then there was an unboxing card as well. This is Music Plant. I love the blue highlights, so pretty. We have Apple Music. I can't believe we're like at the stage in life where SM artists are getting pobs like this. It's a blessing and a curse because obviously like Yeti is my old female bias, so I am going to collect all of them for her. This is SM Global Shop. And obviously I collect Jaehyun very fully, so yeah. But it is just like so nice to have more to collect for her. I just love her so much. Um, this is her unboxing card very iconic photo card if you ask me and then we have Momo so this page is complete nice and then the last card I have is her hot tracks card this is hollow very pretty and I have both rounds of YZY secured. It's just, it's gonna take a while to get to my group order manager because YZY is notoriously very slow at chipping out. So yeah, that was it for the Yeti Pobs. So my vision for this is I'm in a group order for the Christmas card trading packs that they did at the end of last year. Um, yeah, I'm still in a group order for that. We haven't even done sorting yet. It's very crazy. But ideally, I would get her three cards from the trading pack and put them here. And I'm thinking of getting her birthday trading card photo cards and putting them down here because there's three of those as well. So then I would just have two full pages of birthday stuff. Technically, the Christmas cards aren't birthday, but 
is three cards, so I would count it as birthday. So yeah, that's my thoughts for that, but that's the progress for now. So cute. And I'll just show quickly, I did put my 17 photo cards back here, all of their pops and fan signs that I have. I separated it by member, so I have s -Coops first, and I have exactly 18 pops for him, which is very interesting. And then I have Mingyu back here. I have less for Mingyu for whatever reason, because he's expensive. So, but s -Coops is becoming expensive too now, so yeah. Um, but yeah, so these are my Mingyu pops that I have. But yeah, that's it for this binder, but I like the idea of this binder because I could potentially move Jaehyun's pops in here if his collection like truly does grow exponentially this year. I could definitely fit him in this binder pops wise. So yeah, I'm thinking about it, but yes, Suman is definitely like <laughs> the majority of this binder, but yeah, I really like it so far. So we'll see, we'll see. All right, last binder of the day, we have my SM Boy Groups binder. So I'm actually going to work from the back and work my way forward because I have a lot of cards for 127, so I wanna do them last, but I do have Suho cards. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So, Suho, I have these two cards from SMCU. I decided to collect him fully for SMCU minus the membership ID. So I have his portrait photo card right up there. And I have his palace version card, which is so cute. Go right there. I do have these two cards secured. So just waiting for them to arrive to me. But yeah, oh my god, it's throwing Suho cards in 2023, very exciting. I'm not sure if I'm gonna wanna make the SMCU like its own separate section because I do have his solo separated, which makes sense, but this was technically an EXO release. So I don't know if I wanna keep it mixed in with the EXO cards or if I wanna keep it separate. I think it's gonna depend on how many cards they have for the comeback that is happening this year. I'm so excited. I feel like starting in April, it's about to be like a lot of EXO and I'm very excited for that. That is what I need. So yeah, depending on how many cards the comeback has, we'll see if I wanna make SMCU its own section or if I wanna keep it mixed in with the EXO cards, TBD. But yeah, that was it for him. And then for Mark Lee, I do have some cards. First, I have his Wee Young photo card. This was a trade, so that's very exciting. And then I believe I'm finishing this page. Yeah, I am. Oh my God, that's so exciting. If I could get the sleeves out, that would be great. So I have his boring photo card? Is this the boring photo card? I don't know, but it is my favorite photo card of the set. So I have that one. I feel like I do need to like start replacing some of my photo card sleeves because the ones that I have are quite old and they're just like loose because I've been using them for literally years. So I think it might be time to replace some of them, but I also have his chilling version. Is that the right order? Someone let me know if that's wrong. But then lastly, I have his secret agent, dream agent photo card for here. Yay, this page is complete, it looks so nice. And the backs are so colorful, it's so cute. Um, and then for this page, I just have his Lenti. There we go, still looking for this card, this card. Very hard to find, but it is a super cute card, so I get it. I am finishing candy today because I have the last two cards. This is his special version card. Very cute, probably my favorite of the set. And then his S mini card. Cute. A part of me wants to move this card here because he's in the same outfit, but then like, these two have very yellow backgrounds, so I want them to be opposite of each other. You see the dilemma, but candy is done. Yay! 
So now I just need to work on getting this card and these cards. These cards are not a priority for me, so. But this card is a priority. I would like to get that soon. And we will just see what the next dream comeback has for us. Oh my god, I didn't talk about dream ticketing at all during this section. So yes, I guess I'll take a break before we start 127 to talk about NCT dream ticketing for the US leg of their tour. So it was yesterday and when I woke up that morning, I had every intention of getting dream tickets. I was really excited. We were planning on trying for the Seattle show which might sound weird because I do live in California, but Seattle just worked better for me and my schedule and my work and for my sister and her schedule and her work. So we were like, okay, yeah, we're gonna try for Seattle. Like we're ready. We knew we didn't absolutely not want to get floor tickets because for some reason Dream is doing GA for floor. It is not seated. And so yeah, we knew we wanted to get like 100 level tickets so we had like an assigned seat and we wouldn't have to deal with trying to get a good spot on floor so yes we had a game plan so when people on the east coast started to do ticketing for dream and they posted the prices um it was a little shocking the ticket prices for this tour are absolutely insane and there are no benefits this time around there's no vip which is fine like there doesn't need to be vip for all these shows it's just kind of a nice perk and i feel like it's an excuse for them to like add 100 or 200 dollars onto the ticket price but this tour doesn't have vip and <laughs> the tickets were so expensive over 300 dollars for one ticket in the 100s level that's insane to me like i'm sorry i don't know like maybe that's just me actually it's not just me because everyone was complaining about the prices so when we saw that i was feeling a little discouraged because i really was not prepared to spend that much money on a ticket like i knew i was probably gonna spend between like 150 200 dollars but 300 plus dollars for one ticket it did not make me feel good so my sister and i just decided we were still gonna try we're still gonna join the queue. We're still gonna go in and see like how we felt once we were in like the area to select tickets. And honestly, that part went so smooth. I don't know why, but we literally were like at the front of the queue as soon as ticketing started for Seattle and we were in there and yeah, tickets were $320 for the 100s level. And that was for like the upper 100s. The lower 100s were all official platinum and they were like, 700 plus dollars and we both were just like you know what we have other priorities this year dream is a very young group we know they will come back to the states probably as soon as next year so we know we will see them and we just decided not to get tickets at the end of the day and that's really sad i really wanted to see the dreamies but it just was not in the cards this time not in the wallet not in the bank account this time around yeah we are like really just trying to save up for a 17 world tour it that is like our number one priority this year i'm assuming they will be going on tour we do assume that they will be but we want to go to multiple stops for 17 so we just decided to like prioritize that over dream dream will come back i will see them eventually but yeah i am really really bummed that it just it couldn't work out. Okay, one, two, seven. The story just got me like all riled up again about SM. I literally cannot stand them. Okay, so very excitingly, we have this marked card. This is Neo Zone C version photo card. So gorgeous. This is actually a trade. Very crazy. This card goes for kind of a lot for whatever reason. I mean, it's very cute, but yes, this page is now complete. Oh, wow. So amazing. Yay, I love that. Cool. Okay, now into sticker. We have this Do Young for this set. So the sticky version is done. I think I might be completing sticker today, actually. We have this Mark Soul City card. Cute. And yes, I am completing sticker because I have these two cards. 
Yay. This was really easy. Like this was almost too easy, very dangerous for me. I don't think I'll be picking up any more sets for 127. I'm gonna focus on finishing Ayo and then obviously we have to collect Doje Jung. So yes, this Taeyong was a trade. I think I traded a Chenla Kino that I had. So cute, so cute. But I actually bought this card for a really great price. So I don't regret it. So yeah, I'm gonna have an extra <laughs> of this card eventually, but that's fine. But sticker is complete. Let's do a flip through. So sticky version, Soul City sticker version, and the jewel case cards. Yay! Okay, now on to favorite. I have quite a few cards for this version. Just missing Hei Chan. Hei Chan, come home. Yuta. This Do Young, which I thought was going to be really hard to find, but I did find a trade for it. We have Jungwoo. So, yes. Just one card away for that set. And then for this set, I have Yuta and Hechan. I do have a trade for this Do Young, but it hasn't shown up yet and it's been a little bit. So, my mail has been really weird lately. A lot of stuff has been like either severely delayed or like I think things have gotten lost which I've never really had to deal with before so yeah I think this one might have gotten lost which is kind of sad but it's all right then for two baddies I have Yuta and Hechan for the digi packs I do have Do Young secured he's at the Neokyo warehouse so Almost done with that. Now we can move on to Ayo. So exciting. I love starting new collections. So as you can see by the purple sleeves, I have every card for the A version secured, but I just have three on hand right now. So we have a Doyoung. We have Jungmu. All three of these were poles, which is very crazy. Mark. Wait, why did I take out that sleeve? That is Heijun spot. This is Mark. Cute. And the pink backs are so nice. So yeah, everything is on the way. Um, I'm trying to remember. I bought literally all of these except for Hei Chan. Hei Chan is coming in a trade and again that has been a little bit now so fingers crossed he makes it to me. Um, okay so for the B version I just have two cards. I have Jaehyun and Hei Chan. I did have Taeyong on the way but I do think Taeyong got lost in the mail that's why I put a white sleeve there because yeah, the person that I trade with sent out a month ago and my end of the trade reached them like three weeks ago. And I don't think they scammed me or anything. They sent me all of the proof. So definitely not their fault at all. I just think it, he got lost. <laughs> That's depressing, but I will find him again. No worries. Okay, now for the digipacks, I have quite a few cards for the digipacks today. I didn't buy all nine digipacks, so I didn't have like card, a lot of cards to trade. I think I do have them at the line. And I do have Jungle on hand. So we have Johnny, so cute. And we have Taeyong. Yuta, Doyoung, Jaehyun, 
and Jungwoo. So out of these, Johnny was a trade, Do Young was a trade, Taeyong, Yuta, Jaehyun, and Jungwoo were pulls. So yes, I have bought tails and I've bought marks, so I just need Haechan. And then we'll be done with the digi packs. So very nice. And then the last few cards to put away for this video are the S minis. I have OT9 complete for this because I bought all nine S minis. I think I pulled five members and I just traded for the other ones that I was missing. Chat didn't really show tail, but he's so cute. He's giving Steve from Blue's Clues in his polo. And I love that for him. Taeyong, I pulled like quite a few Taeyongs and Johnny's. Those were the dupes that I had to trade for the S minis, so. Yuta. Do Young, he does this pose a lot in his cards. His B version card is really weird. It's a non-selfie and he's just kind of like sitting there, but his A version card is really cute. So, Jaehyun, I love this card of him. I love all of Jaehyun's cards for this era. They're very nice. We have Jungwoo. Oh, I didn't show Jungwoo. I'm sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. We have Mark. And last but certainly not least, we have Heichan. So that is the S minis. All complete. Very, very cute. <laughs> All of them writing AO. <laughs> so funny. But yeah, I love this set. I think it's so nice. I mean, Taeyong kind of sticks out a little bit, but I do think it's a really nice set of cards. I think they're all so cute. But yeah, very good progress on AO so far. Not the B version, don't look at the B version, but yeah. Hopefully I will have a ton more cards for this in my next storing PCs video because my Nyokyo haul should come in before I film that video, so yeah i guess we should end here that was it for today's storing photo cards video i hope you enjoyed these are my favorite videos to film my favorite videos to watch so i hope you enjoyed watching as well and i will see you soon in another one soon bye